forces between multiple charges. Coulomb's law describes only the interaction of two point charges. Experiments show that when two charges exert forces simultaneously on a third charge, the total force acting on that charge is the vector sum of the forces that the two charges would exert individually. This important property is known as the superposition principle. This principle holds good for any number of charges. Subtopic The superposition principle The principle states that when a number of charges are interacting, the resultant force on a particular charge is given by the vector sum of the forces produced by the individual charges. If several point charges Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on, Qn simultaneously exert electric force on the charge Q, then the net force on Q is obtained by taking the vector sum of the individual forces. Mathematically, it can be stated as F bar is equal to F1 bar plus F2 bar plus so on plus Fn bar where is the net force and F1 bar, F2 bar, so on, are the individual forces exerted by Q1, Q2, so on, Qn, on the Qth charge. This is the superposition principle of electric forces, also true for electric fields. Considering a system of point charges Q1, Q2, and so on, Qn, and if the position vectors are given by R1 bar, R2 bar, so on, Rn bar, then the forces experienced by any one charge due to the other charges can be written mathematically as follows. F1 bar equals to F1 2 bar plus F1 3 bar plus F1 4 bar. F1 bar where F1 is the net force experienced by the Q1 charge and F1 2 bar is the force experienced by Q1 due to Q2 F1 3 bar is the force experienced by Q1 due to Q3 etc. Then in general it can be written as F1 bar is equal to sigma F where J not equal to 1. Since a charge does not exert a force on itself, combining Coulomb's law with supposition principle, the equation 1 can be written as F1 bar equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R1 2 square into R1 2 cap plus Q1 Q3 by R1 3 square into R1 3 cap so on plus Q1 Qn by R1 n square into R1 n cap. F1 bar is equal to Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught sigma Qj by R1j square R1j cap. The vector sum are obtained by using parallelogram law of vectors. All of electrostatics is basically the consequence of Coulomb's law and the superposition principle.